Well viewers, we're gonna finally open this time capsule here. This is the Isaria meter, model E. Rated at 220 volts, 3 ampere, 220 volts, 3. 50 cycles, 6000 revolutions per kilowatt hour. So it's a quite high speed meter. The load on the meter is about 3, 4 ampere. Got the dehumidifier on there and a sodium light at the moment. So we're gonna open the lid and then we'll have a look inside. Bloody wind has picked up. The Isaria is on a test plateau next to the AEG LJ Save. It's just a 5 ampere rated meter. It's reverse disc rotation. There's a quick shot in here. The disc goes the other way and the, air, the counter goes forward. Very cool. So here, this is the first time in 58 years we're going to open this meter up. As I was tested in 57 in the test house in Germany, and uh, yeah, we're just going to see the meter uh, sitting a bit loose on the panel. We're going to have a look on the inside of this device. I expect it to be in pretty good condition. This meter, yeah, this meter would be probably from the 1920s, but yeah, 57 was the test house recertification of this particular device. Sun shines, it's windy. I hope the wind doesn't disturb the sound too much. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, that's nice, that's very nice. The aroma is nice. Oh, beautifully made. Look at this. Look at this. Let's do a quick overview dive. Top view of the meter. They all need to get out of this sun. Here we've got some fine engineering here. Gear drive into a gear train into the register. Here we have the top view of the meter train. Counter it measures in uh, 10 watt hour increments. Here we've got the disc and the zoom out, give the overview a little bit. Beautifully made meter. So we've got a yeah, pinion wheel here on the spindle, intermediate gear. And then other gear which drives the register by means of a worm drive. Let's see if we can get the camera in there. As well, run a little bit of a shot from this angle. Uh, hopefully, it's visible. It's a very nicely made meter. This might be a little bit wobbly, but uh, yeah, here's an overview of the train. So. Up that bloody room is visible, but yeah, it looks pretty cool. 6,000 revolutions, so this meter is really spinning around when there's a bit of load on it. Okay, well the current coil is in good condition, there's no smell of burning. Let's have a look on the cover itself. This is the... Hope it focuses in. This is the outside cover. The inside is just like this. Pretty solid. Argentum des Abnehmers, that is the property of the, how do you call it, the utility I would say. I look underneath the disc and uh, you can see the varnish color. I mean, if you tilt the meter a bit, but it looks nice and yellow, it's not even brown, so it's not even burned out. It's actually very good. So, that's the tilt here. Very pleased with this little meter. A very cool meter. Asaria Wechselstrom Seller, that means alternating current meter. Kilowatt Stunden is kilowatt hour. Isaria Zählerwerke, AG München, München, Germany. 
Terminal cover is active in, active out, neutral in, neutral out. Just uh, standard uh, wiring uh, configuration. Nothing too exciting. That's just normal. Thanks for watching. This was the Isaria Model E meter from probably 1920 or thereabouts. Coming up, the AEG Type LJC meter.